Welcome to the Ultimate Gaming Realm, and this is your creator, Dixon, logging on. This episode was originally posted on June 26, 2016. In 2019, there was some recent update for the Atari Vault, so please do expect some changes in this version. Dixon from the Ultimate Gaming Realm, logging on. The Atari Vault for Steam, featuring a combination of 100 classic games from the Atari 2600 console and some from the Atari arcade games for the price of $19.99. Atari Vault developed by Code Mystics and published by Atari. If you grew up in that generation of gaming about 40 years ago, and if you like to relive your fond memories on your PC through Steam, then I would have to say a compilation of 100 games for $20 is indeed worth it. You can also relive your memories through Steam with updated visuals, online and local multiplayer, Steam leaderboards, and Steam achievements. Then I totally say the Atari Vault is a must-have. However, there are some issues that the Atari Vault has if you compare the Vault to what the Atari Anthology, which was released in 2004 for the PC, PS2, and Xbox by Digital Clips had to offer. For instance, the lack of bonus content, like the artwork and the video archives that the Atari Anthology had. Another issue, lack of games, like Battlezone. Both arcade and 2600 versions of Battlezone are not in the Atari Vault. Anthology have both of them. Is there any reason why the Vault doesn't have Battlezone? Well, I can tell you, they do have a reason. It's because Rebellion bought the rights to the Battlezone series in 2013. About the time when Atari filed for bankruptcy. Yeah. That pretty much pisses me off because I really did enjoy Battlezone. I mean, at least they could have actually tried to get permission from the new owners of Battlezone and have a deal to have them both on the compilation. Which also reminds me, the other 2600 compilation of games by Activision. Yeah, both Activision and Atari had a big partnership back then and released a lot of good games on the Atari 2600. And not to forget to mention that an Activision anthology was released on the PlayStation 2 console and the PC that featured the 2600 games from Activision. Around the time in 2016 when the Atari Vault got released, Atari also did a bunch of flashback compilations on the consoles Xbox One and PS4 and the Nintendo Switch. As of late 2019, Atari Vault added a $5 DLC that features a 50 game add-on pack. 14 added arcade games, 12 added Atari 2600 games, and 16 Atari 5200 games. Yeah, they actually have Atari 5200 games on here which is pretty awesome. That also tells me that there's a good chance that there might be more add-on packs. Hopefully, hopefully they can get permission from Rebellion to add Battlezone, both the Atari 2600 version and the arcade version. And also try to get Activision's consent on adding all the 2600 games on there, including Pitfall. Well, what's this hope? Dixon of the Ultimate Gaming Realm, logging off.